But I, I looked at um, you know, Bill Mitchell and I think Dave Hopkins put on a demonstration. And, and they were, their, their things were all here. So I, I'm going to do one in the, an article in the journal. <coughs> Not in this next issue, but after that. Because, you know, I, I don't think Bill ever mentioned it. So, so uh, there's so many things that we, um, that are just kind of going askew. But anyway, I get the guys to show me the lessons uh, on Tuesday. That's another way Jimmy would dress a lot of in the shorts. He likes shorts. You know, there is a technique like that where you pull them down, you jump, and you jump. Because the first thing you do is put your hands up. You can show some up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is my class years and years ago. John Monty, yeah. I want to see your something like See, I don't know exactly where this stuff is that, that uh, I'm going to have to go to and look at. Oh, this is when I took a streamer from Daniel and son. What did Jimmy generally think about Bruce? Uh, oh, I said that little kid, I used to pat him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that working on, Jeff? Uh, just some kid that knew the thing. I just kind of wondered about him. He was a nurse at the hospital. <laughs> That's Joe when he got here. <laughs> Not that all male nurses are bad if there's any in here, but this guy was just a little strange. <laughs> In fact, I would like to see that guy again if anybody knows him because he found a guy that was from Jimmy's village and they talked in Chinese and I would sure like to find that guy because, uh, because uh, I'd like to know more about that. There is a guy who went to Jimmy's village. The, the temple is gone. They relocated the village because it's uh, it was uh, the river changed course. Wasn't that it, it was destroyed by the Japanese, but the rivers changed course, so they moved it. And uh, uh, they wouldn't let him go on the ground. They said it was like hollow ground. But uh, uh, the guy's kind of being stingy with information. He didn't want to share. He wants to do a book. In fact, I told him, I said, hey, we'll get together and share some stuff. And uh, he gave me this big contract, and he's going to pay me one dollar, and he says, anything I have, whenever he wants, it was his. Yeah. And I thought, what a deal. <laughs> and, and nothing about what I get. That's Jim Bush. He's in uh, Washington. <laughs> That's where it's sitting again. I went, to Salem, <laughs> I went to Salem, Oregon a few weeks ago and I uh, couldn't find anybody in the pool. And there was one guy, I called the number and the number was disconnected, a guy named Scott Olson. The what now? Uh, no, there was one guy that was actually Beaverton. He taught Sansu. Uh huh. And when I was listening up there, I called his number and the number was disconnected. Yeah, we're finding there's many of those. We're trying to keep in contact with the schools. And I, I really believe Bernie's dyslexic. So many numbers have been reversed. And uh, then some, some they're not even there. So um, I talked to one guy in uh, Grass Pass, and he, a guy named Tim Shirley. Uh, I didn't like him. I called him and what a jerk. But... Uh, I, in fact, I hung up on the guy. I, I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's Bill Lassiter. They used to put on a pretty dynamic uh, staff fight. I've got it somewhere on my film. But he and uh, Jerry Druckerman. It's Jerry Druckerman. But uh, I hope this is the one where Jimmy uh, really gets on. Uh -huh. No, I mean, he's trying to build a staff. 
Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Jimmy fault though when he was a kid. You know, my opinion, Jimmy Jimmy was Jimmy was good with the weapon, but top notch with his hands and feet. Um, I've seen some guys with weapons that really worked a lot with weapons. I think Jimmy worked quite a bit, but I don't think his expertise was as much with weapons as it was with hands and feet. I mean, it was very good, but I mean, <coughs> I've seen some guys. In fact, you see, we got to remember, Jimmy came over here so young that he didn't learn everything. Because I, I mentioned to Bernie, I met a guy that was raised in a temple, and the guy will come out and do two flips, and then he goes into his form. And uh, I, I was telling Bernie about it. I said, you know, it, it's just like Jimmy's great grandfather all over. He's raised in a temple. He's an orphan, and da -da 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 -da. and I told her how she did the flips. This is when she's talking to me. But uh, watch, watch, watch. Uh, and uh, she says, well, Jimmy was just about to learn that when he left China. They were putting a rig on his, uh, around his waist and uh, so he could learn to do the flip side of ropes, but he never got to learn it. But, uh, so I, I think as he got over here, luckily he had the books so he could go into the, the deeper. Uh, and I think that's why the art changed somewhat. The deeper he went in the books, the more he understood. But in 19, you know, you don't know that much. I mean, you, you, you may know some things, but the real masters are the guys that study at 40 and 50 years old. So I think he was mostly self-taught after he got over here. He knew a lot of techniques. That's just my opinion, but uh, I've seen the art change. And uh, he had to go deeper in the books in order to do that. Could you learn as you teach? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are axes I imported from Hong Kong. I, I made Jimmy's weapons all the time. All the weapons came from me and the t-shirts. These were really light. They were pretty, but they were aluminum, and but they were super light because they were hollow inside. I, I wish I would have kept a pair for myself. No, I couldn't, I couldn't get them. That lasted or yeah. 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 Okay, there, there, there's a salute, what I was trying to explain to you. Okay, this is the guy, this guy here, Jimmy taught him to do lion dancing. He's a big wig in Chinatown, and, and Jimmy taught him. Okay, left foot again. So I, I think, I think um, because he came out with that in the book. This stuff is priceless, I think, because whenever you have a question, when I get these categorized, we'll go in and say, hey, what's the man himself? You know, what, why should we argue over who does what, why? I wonder how many shoes and suits that guy had. <laughs> That's a picture I had done in Mexico. I, I had Jimmy's, uh, uh, Jimmy and Gerald Nakamura both uh, done in Mexico. I had them uh, painted, portrait of, uh, in a stance and different. Then Jimmy was really quick or just really smooth? Uh, smooth, powerful, and quick. Uh, Even as fast as they lasted her? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, but, uh, who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I show him. Me. But, uh, Well, how, how, how would you want to compare that? You, you're saying it's fat. They, they were different people. 